thing that'd be cool. All the secrets. So that um, stuff, like, so yeah. obviously that game. So yeah, you guys seemed really excited. Yeah, because you know, like <laughs> Final Fantasy VII, a game I love. Boy, remaking this I know, awesome Jeff, game for my youth. I know you've youth. personally been emailing me about Shenmue Three every day. For a I've year. been like, "Can we make Shenmue Three? You yeah. said you were going to build the list. Yeah. Build the fucking list. Yeah. Finally, we built the list. Well, Kickstarter is building the Suzuku. list. Yeah, yeah. You Suzuki helped him out. Yeah, we're backing as well. So we basically like got funded. We're putting some scratch in as well and going to support it and help market it. But he's like self-publishing it. So um, was that just a move on your part to kind of gauge interest, like to make so sure that people the, actually want it? Because it's one of those things where it's like, you know, Sony should have some money. You'd think that yeah. Sony could fund all of Shenmue so 3 and here, not go Here's to the thing, like, we've all seen people requesting Shenmue for years. Yeah. Right? And every publisher on the planet has passed on it. And all the platforms. And so the thing is, there was two, there was sort of two paths to choose. Path one was spend the next two years internally trying to build a P&L and show them, no, look, guys, there's a Facebook page and there's fans and right. the thing and then, the, and then get the funding and then, and then it would be first party because we don't really fully fund stuff. So it right, would have been yeah. Shoes Team and then they that'd own the IP that, and that doesn't make sense. Right, and that, that'd be, like I guess, a project like, that yeah, they wouldn't make because they'd be making that instead yeah, and then something, it's, right? Yeah, because not their IP. Uh, and then it would have been made for a couple years and then announced. Or... We said, you know, and, and Suzuki san really want to start developing it. He said, I want the, to bring the crowd and the fans along for the ride. Okay. And so we were like, yeah, let's do marketing, let's like promote it, and let's make the dreams come true. And then that way, because the, the fans have been so, you know, hungry for it and vocal, yeah. they're like, let's bring them through the process. Now suzuki san has got the Kickstarter, they got the cash, and now they're off to the races. I mean, he is over the moon. I mean, he was backstage, he had a box of tissues. It was super, super moving. I yeah, mean, it, it awesome seems like it's the it. sort of thing that he's been trying to get going for. Yeah, for fucking. Ever. And I think that was the thing is like, let's see him. And and it also was like, and if it doesn't get funded, then then you know, then you know. Yeah. But it did really like way faster than I thought. Like, mm. so we're getting a lot of questions, and I'm like, I didn't even know it would be funded. Like, we're not ready to answer. Like, uh, right, it's going, yeah, it's yeah. happening. Huh. So he's over the moon. Um, and that was a lot of sort of secret meetings with him every time, like. GDC, because of course, like people take photos of him everywhere. Right. So we'd have to like meet. I'm like, drop yourself off in this room. I will take the other elevator and meet you. Um, but it was a lot easier when I went to Tokyo to meet with him uh, a few times. And yeah, that was a crazy process. But it's going. He's yeah. making a game. He's making Shenmue Three. That's yeah. crazy for some people. And then, I mean, it's it's not your game's first party, but Last Guardian. Yeah. Uh, finally, finally happening. So it was funny because like months before I, I gave Shu a heads up. So first party and third party totally separate, right? We don't like even in the run throughs, I didn't get to see his game. I didn't get right, to see yeah. anything from first party and all the they kicked me out. Yeah, dead serious. They kicked me out for Andy's, for Sean's. I'm like, come on. <laughs> I thought membership had its privileges. I've been here a couple yeah, years now. I've kinda, I was able to see it last year and I didn't yeah. tweet anything. Um, huh. but uh, but it's funny because about three months before the show. Uh, I said to Shu, I said, hey, we're going to do this Kickstarter. You know Suzuki-san, you guys are friends. Um, and, and Mark Cerny knew him, too, and, mm -hmm. and he had been talking to Mark Cerny about it. And, and you know, Shu's like, oh, really? You know, he does this big grin, and he goes, at E3? Announced at E3? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, we will have Last Guardian there, too. I'm like, oh, um, <laughs> oh shit. This will be pretty cool. Yeah, so, yeah. All the dreams. Uh, but for me, like, the, the, the standout thing was, was Horizon. Yeah, you know, I'm so uh, pumped about that. I was backstage with Herman um, and the team at Gorilla. I just love visually, like super creative. That was also a total surprise mm. for me personally. Um, like it started to leak out a little bit ahead of the show, a couple of days. Yeah, I think like, we're like at one image and the, some. Well, there was like the some name, months ago like that the name sort of said together, something, yeah. but um, it's so funny because you watch like I'm always watching all the all the chatter and forums and discussion around like you know like when the Guardian announced the Last Guardian movie. I'm like they don't know that. Like, literally, they didn't know that. And then Suzuki-san, even when he came into town, he took a photo of a forklift. Right, and I saw it. I was like, please don't do that ever again <laughs> <laughs> until we announce this game. Like, you're not helping right. anything. Yeah. And then the FF7 remastered. Like, everyone was guessing, and then those guesses become facts. And yeah. then, like, all that, all that stuff leaked. I'm like, it did not. None of it did, but, you know, sort of by our wishes combined, right. <laughs> people it, well, willed just, it, it to It made live. sense. And also... They've been asked for every E3 since the dawn of time. So it's just right. like, you know, yeah. my little cheeky sort of checklist. I'm like, these are three things that I've always wanted to have on stage. And we did it. Yeah, it was cool. fun. Uh, and then Uncharted closed. Oh.